Hi beautiful, welcome to a new video and thank you for watching. Today's topic has been highly requested and I've put a lot of work and research into this in hopes that you will get lots of information that will really, really be helpful. I'd like to dive right into the topic of age spots and in a few words talk about the science of how they happen because knowledge is power and if you know me, you know that I don't just focus on quick fixes, I also like to be informed and inform you as well since only through knowledge can we make better choices. So when the skin is exposed to ultraviolet light from the sun or from using tanning beds, there is an increase in the production of cells known as melanocytes, which increase melanin in the skin, therefore turning the skin darker. Melanin is the pigment in the upper layer of the skin that gives it its normal color. These dark patches are what we commonly refer to as brown spots, dark spots, age spots, sun spots, or liver spots. In addition to the sun exposure, aging and genetics also play a role in their development, as well as factors like stress, vitamin deficiencies, weak liver functioning, pregnancy, and inadequate skin care. Now that we know that, let's move on to the solutions. Here's what, my friend. If you're hoping for a magical potion that will make your skin spots disappear overnight, you unfortunately will not find it in a cream or serum. No over-the-counter product will really make your age spots disappear entirely. That's something only lasers will help with and procedures performed in doctor's offices. There are, however, some creams that will lighten the spots. Now, because I've been lathering on SPF and staying out of the sun, <laughs> Since my early 20s, I personally don't have an issue with brown spots, currently in my 30s, but I can tell you that I have heard of a cream that's supposed to be pretty darn good. I personally haven't used it, but you know I make these videos not only to share what I do, but also what I hear the streets talking about as well. And the cream I've heard about is from SkinCeuticals, and it's called Phyto Plus, or at least that's how I believe you say it. I will write it in the description box below for you and problem solved. That is a serum that has a blend of botanicals that's concocted to reduce the appearance of dark spots and I've heard some people getting pretty good results. They essentially apply a small amount of that serum directly onto the spots. Now, when it comes to treating spots at home, you could always try hydroquinone. Hydroquinone is a bleaching agent that you can find at drugstores and even in some department stores or by prescription, of course. And what it does is it interferes with a specific enzyme that helps your skin produce melanin, the brown pigment, right, that shows up as the spots. Using hydroquinone alongside a prescription strength retinoid that a dermatologist can write a prescription for, that will be a super potent combination and that is bound to absolutely make a difference with consistency use. Retinoids will disperse the melanin granules. In other words, they will diminish brown spots. When you look for over-the-counter hydroquinone though, make sure that it's in concentrations up to 2%. Prescriptions will usually have 4%. Only apply it on the specific areas that you want to lighten because again, it is a bleaching agent so you have to be careful with that. Now, you can use a Q-tip for precise application and I will list in the description box some creams that you can look out for that basically have this ingredient. Now, if you are sensitive to hydroquinone or prefer not to use it in favor of more natural alternatives, know that licorice extract, kojic acid, soy extract, and vitamin C are great options. They will not directly reduce the enzyme that produces melanin, but they can produce results good enough that would make them worth a try. I will share a lot of home remedies in my email to you this week and some DIY video recipes on my Instagram profile. So if you'd like to get all these tips and recipes, I encourage you to join me on email and and follow me on Insta. Of course, I do love super informative YouTube videos, so I will make sure to share a couple more ideas in today's video as well. But before that, let's go over some other really important takeaways that you must know. First is keeping the temperature of your skin low and avoiding extreme heat. This will be I can't even tell you how important this is. The goal is to suppress the melanin activity and get those pigmented cells to go dormant, therefore fade out. This means that you not only have to stay out of the sun and protect the skin with broad spectrum sunblock of SPF 50 or above, but you also have to keep the temperature of the skin low and avoid extreme heat. This is why what I'm about to say next will come as a surprise to many of you watching 
but it's true. Things like hot yoga classes are actually not good for skin with pigmentation issues. Ooh, I'm sorry. You need to keep the skin as cool as possible. And if you feel like you can't give up any form of exercise that increases your temperature post-exercise, I recommend applying on cleansed skin a bag of frozen peas for about 10 to 15 minutes to cool it off. One side note about the sunblock, go for a zinc oxide one because that will have a broader UVA and UVB coverage. Exfoliating gently, but doing so often, like two to three times per week, is also one of the keys to managing discoloration. Scrubs that have round beads are a very good option because believe it or not, natural grains like apricot kernels can be too harsh and irritating. So I would try to avoid those if I were you. Mild alcohol-free exfoliating acids, such as glycolic acid and salicylic acids, are also helpful, especially when used regularly, since they help break the pigmented cells apart and as a result, minimize their appearance. There is such thing as overdoing it with exfoliating products though, so please be mindful of that. Too much exfoliation may actually trigger more melanin, so I wouldn't do it more than two to three times a week, depending of course on your skin. I will also list an exfoliating product that I found that is worth checking out in the description. Microdermabrasion treatments can remove age spots. Microdermabrasion is a non-invasive treatment that uses a wand with air pressure that blasts either crystals or other abrasive materials directly onto the skin, exfoliating the top layers to remove the dark, hyperpigmentated spots. Typically, a session can take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, depending on the area that needs to be treated. There is no downtime there and there are no side effects and treatment sessions are usually given in two to three week intervals. Next up, chemical peels are also a great alternative. Chemical peels dissolve dead skin so that more radiant skin can surface. The side effects can include redness, peeling, and sensitivity, trust me, I would know, and generally, two sessions are necessary at about three to four week intervals. And now, if nothing mentioned works for you, or if you're not seeing the results that you were really hoping for, you may want to consider laser treatments. They are definitely more costly, but they can be very efficient, and lasers have become much safer over the years. Now, before we wrap it up, here is a natural ingredient that will help, because I promised you some of it earlier, and that is buttermilk. Buttermilk contains lactic acid that helps exfoliate the skin and helps remove brown spots without drying out the skin. You can apply the buttermilk directly onto the brown spots using a q-tip or a cotton ball. You need to leave it there for about five minutes then rinse the area with lukewarm water. If you have oily skin or acne and you're in need of help with brown spots on your beautiful face, you can also combine a few drops of lemon juice with the buttermilk and apply that mixture localized on the spots because lemon juice is essentially a bleach agent. If lemon juice is not your jam though, you can mix one teaspoon buttermilk with half a teaspoon of tomato juice. Doing this every day can get you some noticeable results in a couple of weeks. Now age spots are typically harmless, but if you do notice spots that change in appearance, I encourage you to check with the doctor. If you have a spot that is very dark in color, is rapidly increasing in size, is accompanied by itching, redness, tenderness, or bleeding, has an irregular border or an unusual combination of colors, it may be a sign of melanoma, so it would be a good idea to have a doctor take a look at it. Now, if you're in the same boat as me and don't really have dark spots, you can work at maintaining things that way by still doing everything we talked about with the exception of microdermabrasion, chemical peels, and lasers if you don't want to, because you really don't have to. If you enjoyed this video and hopefully learned something new, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more if you haven't already. Join my email list and follow me on Instagram for natural remedies and DIY videos. I love you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. You are beautiful. And I will see you again in a future days in a new video. Bye.